Welcome night to the, welcome back to the late night feel good edition of Final Score Friday. How about that? The yeah, Patrick oh, Henry yeah. cheerleaders are here with us for week one after getting back from that long trip from Louisa earlier tonight. As teams cycle out of their old district schedules to play more competitive opponents, we will see several matchups that we have either never seen before or have been dormant for decades. And we've already seen a couple of those tonight. There was another one in the West End tonight. Goochland visiting Mills Godwin for the first time ever and the first game on the Eagles sideline for longtime area assistant Earl Kinney. Spent a number of years at Hermitage. Moves over to Mills Godwin looking for a win in his first game. But he wouldn't like this. First quarter, Isaac Height. Behind the defense, oh. he hooks up with Derek Pierce, and he's gone. 70 yards on the pitch and catch, and the Bulldogs have a surprising 7-0 lead, which they took into the second quarter. But Daniel Werner, 14-yard touchdown run around the left end. That ties the game at 7. And then Wiener again, 39-yard pass all the way down to the 10-yard nice. line. That would set up a four yard touchdown run by Werner. That made it 14 to seven. Sam Jarrett had a 35 yard pick six just before halftime. Eagles led big at the half and they win big 45 to seven, giving Earl Kinney a win in his coaching debut. And congratulations go out to Coach Kinney. Now there were a handful of games last night, two including ranked teams. The first was number seven, Elsie Bird hosting James River. The Rapids three wins in this series all by one point each. But in the first quarter, Elsie Bird put their stamp on this game. Sir Paul Cheeks around the right side and goes 33 yards for the touchdown. He had over 200 yards rushing in that game Thursday night, 7-0 Skyhawks. Then Rashad Lewis with a 15-yard touchdown run. Bird up 14-0 after a quarter to the second. And as Lewis again, watch this hole. Lane could run through that hole. I don't know about run. 86 yard touchdown run for Lewis. He had three rushing touchdowns. Cheeks had three rushing touchdowns. Bird wins 45 12 over James. I'd be able to walk fast. So out of the West End, number eight, Douglas Freeman hosting Atlee. Freeman has won six of the last seven in this series. They had a 3 0 lead in the first quarter. Atlee's Brooks Hollins going to get picked off by Cole Chiswick. And he is gone back through the offense 45 yards on the pick six and it was 10 nothing Mavericks and Chiswick wasn't done either Jaden Reese goes up top mm. 31 yards to Chiswick who stops to the back of the end zone and was 17 to nothing Chiswick had four first half touchdowns Thursday night he gets another one here from West Nunnally all Mavericks as they beat the Raiders 45 to nothing to open the season one and oh. Region 5C, it's going to be good it this is. year. An old backyard rivalry, Melothian hosting Monica. They've met every year except one that Monica has been open. It's the 45th all-time meeting since 1980. Coach Gross, the new head coach. Gross, the new head coach over at Midlothian. Second quarter, Trojans up 7-0. Turner Johnson to Sean McCord. 13-yard touchdown. Monica down 7-6. Midlothian comes back. Chase Chambers, Drew Koleski, six-yard score. Midlothian up 14-6 at the break third quarter more from Midlothian and Knox Berry down the sideline stays in bounds and goes 43 yards breaking through tackles Trojans get the win for coach Gross 21 13 the final over to the other side of Chesterfield for Meadowbrook hosting Clover Hill two teams with new head coaches they had not met in 28 years before last night first quarter Donovan Jeffers gets the handoff Jefferson. and Jefferson, excuse me, gets in for the touchdown. Six nothing Monarchs. The Cavaliers would answer behind Amari Prince who takes the kickoff and does not stop. 74 yards on the return for the touchdown and Clover Hill had a 7-6 lead. End of the first quarter, back comes Meadowbrook. Desiah McDaniel, six yard touchdown run, spinning into the end zone, 13 to seven. Troy Porter Jr. had an interception for Meadowbrook, which set up another Jefferson touchdown run and Meadowbrook gets a win in their opener, 32 to 13 over Clover Hill. Still to come, one more game to check in on tonight and a few of your week one scores when Final Score Friday returns.